Antonia Lopez has the gift of gifting. We spend a lot of time making sure that the products are unique and eco-conscious and products that we're proud to carry. Lopez is the founder and CEO of Peachbox Co, an online gifting service. When you buy a peach box, you're not only supporting one small business, you're supporting seven, eight, nine different small businesses. The staff at the company's Methuen headquarters handpicks each box that can be personalized with your choice from hundreds of gifts or has a theme that's ready to ship, like Pamper in Peace and Sunshine, created during the peak of the pandemic. It was a way to let the people you love know that you're thinking of them and you're still there for them. It's one of my favorite boxes. Inside, there's a mug, tea, honey, and a dipper, plus a soothing soap. Peach has always been one of my favorite colors. I also looked into the meaning of it and it really embraced everything that I wanted to create as a brand. Something that was fun and warm and meaningful. Lopez came up with this concept for a realtor looking for better gifts for clients. There wasn't really anything out there like what he wanted to send. Something that the families could really keep and utilize. So Lopez launched Peachbox Co. out of the shed in her backyard. It was about 300 square feet, if not a little tinier. The business grew from there, and in August of 2020, Lopez left her corporate job to devote herself to this dream full time. I love searching new brands, reading about founders, what motivates them, what motivated them to create the product. And we really try to partner with brands that are similar in values. 90% of the brands they carry are owned by women, minorities, or members of the LGBTQ plus community. Support that's important to Lopez, an immigrant from the Dominican Republic. When I was five years old, my parents decided to leave our native land and come to the U.S. in search of the American dream. A dream realized for this entrepreneur who, in just two years, has grown her business from a shed to a warehouse with a staff of seven full-time employees. I love it. I think that is really my favorite part of it all, is having people work with me that believe in my mission, that also took a chance on me and my dream and are here putting in their best every single day. It makes me so happy. Every one of our pieces has a name and a little bit of a backstory. So Bruce is the world traveler. He's calm, casual, but always has an adventurous story that he can tell you at a party. Kind of our, our all around everyday glass, but can be great with a couple rocks in it. Good for a nice stiff drink. James McLeod and his wife Libby are the co-owners of Cloud Glassworks. One of our sayings here is clean lines and pure intention. McLeod has been blowing glass now for 25 years. I took a glass class and uh, sort of sealed the deal for me. That was it. It was exciting. You get to light things on fire. It's like a sport, and it was extremely challenging. So it'll be orange -ish. There's teamwork involved. You always have to work with at least one other person. It's very physical. You're working with a tool in one hand, you're working with a glass blowing pipe in the other, everything moving, and you have a very limited amount of time to get it finished and put into the kiln. That passion ignited a quarter century ago still burns, and now the McLeods have a studio in Essex, a store in Rockport, and a showroom in Charleston, South Carolina. A lot of work goes into the design process, you know, down to the millimeter of each cup. Color samples are workshopped extensively. Each design line has a very complex theme to it that's based off of color and form and pattern. Their vases, stemware, pitchers, and bowls boast that intricate attention to detail. Beautiful, vibrant showpieces you'd be reluctant to store behind a cabinet door. There are hundreds and hundreds of recipes for different colors that you can make. The methods used to produce these works of art are meticulous. It goes into a, a metal mold called a fin mold that has all these lines in it. And then as it's being blown out, the gaffer will grab the end of it and twist it. With this piece, it's much more subtle. So that twist happens, the piece is then put back into the same mold really quickly and then blown out. So we get this very fine herringbone texture that's really subtle. It looks like sort of it's a woven basket. Most cloud collections are limited editions with the exception of a few staples. We want to create objects for people to live with. There's a lot of glassware out on the market and I believe that when you have an object that you use all throughout your day, it should be something you really care about. Cloud Glassworks also makes lighting fixtures, including custom chandeliers, and they offer glass blowing classes at their Essex studio. 
James McLeod, by the way, happens to be a professor and head of the 3D department at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design. And back to Peachbox, it has a partnership with Lawrence High School. Students can stop by to job shadow and even work at that company part-time.